penalty is stand by. So it's suicidal tendencies, the Derby team, Andrew Martin and Charles disposing of forklifts early on. Eventually forklifts disposed of by Killalot, really. But after being shoved and bashed around the arena, it was Killalot who came in for the final disposal. Then Razor Blade controversially drove itself into the pit and the judges went with suicidal tendencies, putting it through to this heat final. Mace 2 from East Sussex, Shane Howard and Brian Fountain. This was the disposal of Stinger, driven into the pit. After some frantic flurries, really good fun. Not for the Stinger team. And then Wheelie Wacko, as Shane and Brian took control, dumped again into that self-same pit. Three. Two, one, activate. So here we go then, for a place in the semi-finals. Some cagey early driving by suicidal tendencies. In Mace 2 come on the attack. That front lift ram can lift 90 kilos. Suicidal tendencies flipped up over. The milling cutters spinning. I wonder what sort of damage that can do to the body shell, which is three millimeter thick steel with aluminium armor two. And for me, Mace two looks very formidable. A semi-finalist in the last series, rebuilt over three weeks by Brian Fountain, who builds model fairground rides out of baby milk tins. Mm, how curious. And Shane Howard. KG stuff still. <laughs> Piggyback for suicidal tendencies, but again, just easily motoring away there, you see. Orbit oh, into the corner patrol zone and got away very, very speedily. So crucial to get away from the house robots who patrol those areas. Suicidal tendencies have problems with one of those traps in the last fight against Razor Blade. All the early aggression by Mace 2. Oh dear, oh dear. And Killalot's got him. And he got away again. Get back to Killalot, says Mace 2. Killalot very sluggish. A creature of the night. Not yet woken to this daytime battle, perhaps. I don't know. Suicidal tendencies. Driven back in there again by Mace 2. This time it's Matilda. <laughs> what a horrible tale she's got. Imagine being entwined with Matilda, a creature of the night. Kill a lot now has suicidal tendencies. Again, it gets away. Look at the trap marks left all over the arena as it spins and attacks Mace 2. A little bit of aggression there by suicidal tendencies, but Mace 2 driving towards Shunt this time. And there comes the big pickaxe. Slicing and perforating the top of suicidal tendencies. It's aluminium and steel shell taking punishment from Shunt. Andrew and Martin Jeffrey, the brothers, and Charles Bins trying to steer suicidal tendencies away. It goes to the judges again. 